Hi guys, welcome to my first official unboxing video. Um, by now you've probably noticed my playlists, if you haven't, go check them out. Um, today well, I've already opened this just to check it out and make sure it all works and stuff like that. It works. I can't test it out right now because it's pitch black outside, but hopefully if I can try it out tomorrow I will. Um, but today I have the Explorer Airgun Youth Rifle. Um, the only bits I've thrown away is the plastic which uh, covers the muzzle of the rifle. Um, so, oh yeah, also like the little advert card things that they uh, that um, you get with it. So, on the box, it shows you a picture of the gun. It shows you that it's a uh, front, it's got front and rear fiber optic sights. Sorry if you can't see it. Um, You've got uh, like just uh, it's a valve break open, and the caliber is one seven seven or point one seven seven, which I got also from Walmart. Uh, the point one seven seven Crossman, two hundred fifty round caliber. Um, so we can move back a bit. So it's four hundred ninety five feet per second. So it's five uh, FPS before uh, classes a firearm. So Inside, oh, I got it in the box now, and inside the box, it's gonna look. Just take all that out, otherwise everything's gonna spew all over the place. It will look like this. Right, move back. Sorry, the camera's not in the best of places, but it'll have to do. So that's what it looks like in the box. So from barrel down all the way up to that. So when you first open the box, you're gonna see a load of information. You're going to get a gift card, a tag stuck to the trigger, which you can easily cut off with a pair of scissors. Uh, a, like, if you're age uh, under 16 or older. Um, like, a French manual, in case you are French. Uh, a do not return thing, where you can return them back to Walmart anyway, because I returned an airsoft gun the other day, yesterday. Uh, a shooter's kit. Uh, order list for Rogers. The manual, which I have to go through later on my own. And like a Umarex air gun registration. So, uh, you know, it it's just like something that registration. So that's all like the paperwork you need to read. That's the only thing you need to read through. Plus, the, if you're over 16, though, these are the only two key things you have to read through. The rest is throwawayable. But to be honest, keep it, keep all of it, just so that if you do have to return it. Trust me, you do. Plus the receipt. I also, um, so when you open it, I showed you what it looks like inside the box. You're gonna get it like that. It's gonna have two bits of. Um, uh, 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 styrofoam bits. You can just chuck those away. I'll show you the box last. Um, it's got an onboard safety that you can just pull out. It's also automatic, so you can say S for uh, safe. And when it's in, it's fire. The trigger's not hard because it's not loaded, obviously. I will not load it because there's no way to actually release the action without um, not firing it manually so and it damaged the in barrel as well so what you get on the gun is the front sight here with a nice orange you get the rear sight with a nice orange with adjustable wind and elevation knobs and yeah I mean nothing to it really I mean it's all ABS plastic but it's good it was $117.95 um, it's a full metal barrel from top to bottom, so from here down to the muzzle, it's all metal, but the mar mu yeah, the muzzle is covered in a metal uh, rubber, so that you don't, so it doesn't obviously, I don't know, but you know. Um, it is a break open, but I'm not going to break it for the reason why I said. Um, so you'd hit it on the barrel a few times, so one and probably two, and then that would release it. 
and then you pull it all the way down so it like stays in place but you still hold it just in case it comes back and probably take your fingers off put your round in pull it up ready to go um the rounds i have well so for height comparison i'm gonna stand by my door but here's the rifle that goes about there to me so you know it's about waist height on me for arm span that's how big it is and to be honest it's very nice and comfortable in the shoulder um so to be perfectly honest it's a well worth buy i mean it's 495 fps sorry if you can't really see me that well or the gun very well but you know there it is again for a good perspective um it doesn't have Oh yeah, it does. It has some sort of rails here, so obviously you could mount a scope on there, which I'll get in the future. Um, these will be my shooting videos. There'll be a shooting video coming up soon, possibly tomorrow if I can get out with it. Um, I will probably take it in the box. Um, so, and I'm what what I would do is get a bit of orange pen or pen uh, pen or um, tape. It's just put orange on the barrel at the end of the tip of the barrel so people don't instantly call the police on you which you don't want because it does look like a 22 from that kind of perspective um modified 22 but to be honest it's a well worth buy so coming off the gun we can just throw all these out the way including the paper coming on to the rounds i put them in a bag because they're lead and to be honest you don't want to be touching these very often um, and putting it in your mouth. So, putting your hands in your mouth once touch them. So, that's what I have. If you want to read it, you can pause it. I have the pointed premium grade. I have no idea what that meant. So, what that that, that previously means. So, you know, you just have to bear with me. Uh, so, these are what the pellet actually looks like. So, That's basically what they look like. So, uh, as I said, there will be a shooting video coming out tomorrow. Hopefully, if I can uh, get everything done, like go out in the woods safely and fire away. Uh, put up, um, I've got my target set up or drawn out. So, that it's a box. My TiVo thing came in. So... Let's see what uh, I can do tomorrow. Uh, this is the Epic Cooper. Oh yeah, if you want um, like a range test, I'll have to get a scope for it, honestly. So, now coming on to the box, the design of the box. What I'm gonna have to do is kind of, so from the front, you're gonna see a kid and his father, like with the father holding the rifle. You got the Explorer right on the top. You got alert. You got a warning, um, which is in French. Uh, then you got like all the specifications. It's uh, iron sight with um, highlighted tips. You got the automatic safety. So every time you load it and load it uh, with the whatever you've loaded in it, it will put the safety on. So you have to turn it off and fire away, and then put the safety back on so that. You know, just for well, my safety or yours if you get it. Um, so the caliber is 1.77, as I said, and then you just got a nice picture of the gun on the front. Okay, so now we're going to look at the back of the box. I don't know what that was. Uh, so what you've got is like all your specifications. I'm probably holding it upside down. No, I'm not. It's just the camera showing it upside down. So, that's all the specifications in French. I just showed the French versions of it. Oh, well, there's the English. Um, and then you've got your English specifications. There we go. It's upside down. But what it says is texture grip and front grip, uh, ambidextrous raised cheek rest, Ambidextrous, uh, 
thumble uh, hole, thumb hole, all weather composite stock and recoil pad, automatic safety, adjustable bed uh, fiber optic rear sight, fiber optic front sight, muzzle, and rifle steel barrel. So it's not metal, it's steel, or you can call it metal. And yet again, a nice um, diagram of the gun on the back. Uh, but each of the, as you can see, each of them are labelled like so. So seven, and there'll be uh, the seven on the gun here. Um, and then yet again, it's all in French down here. Got a warning, you know, you just playing. If you got an airsoft gun, you know, it's kind of what you would expect from an airsoft gun. But anyway, uh, I think that's it. This is the Epic Creeper signing off.